uh, bright orange. Le Grand Jack. A postcard. I did a lot of fencing, I would say fencing. I would say Mother Teresa. Well, it was it's going to be quick <laughs> because I just uh, finished school. So I graduated this summer as HSC after a major in entrepreneur. Um, and I did uh, an exchange semester in the US, which really helped me see the, the big world out there. And I did my internships in France, in Paris, uh, at ASO, uh, the leading uh, sports event company. And, um, and here I am at Sherpa after a quick uh, stay at Altios, a consulting company here in Sydney. So if a five-year-old guy uh, knows about Uber, probably took a Uber with his parents, uh, we are Uber for Courier. So what we do is express deliveries across um, metro areas and we deliver anything in two hours. So Shopa uh, was created last year. We just celebrated its first anniversary. Uh, now we're 18 in the team and uh, we've covered Australia. So we are in the six major cities in Australia. We've done 50, over 50,000 deliveries since we uh, were created. And literally it's growing um, amazingly well. Our goal is to create this SaaS platform um, that will enable any courier around the world to actually use our technology to um, implement a better routing, a better logistics to their, to their companies. And yeah, on the longer um, scale, we really want to have this marketplace where courier will actually belong to nobody, like the drivers won't uh, actually belong to a company and will just be here to, to work for anybody that needs them. Uh, I think memory is like going on the road to actually do deliveries uh, because, you know, as a startup, you just put your hands on and you do what, what you need to do when things are just completely over the top. Uh, so I think one of my best memories was just um, delivering donuts or flowers to, to customers and people just actually being really surprised to see a, a girl really excited to be here and say, hey, this is Sherpa, and we're like, okay, this is a strange delivery experience. Uh, I will wake up at 6 um, in the morning because the Aussie does do that and they go to the beach to exercise. So at 6 you'll be on the beach um, to do a swim, to have a swim or just run on the beach and then heads off to, um, to a nice market. Um, the Carriage Works uh, market is an amazing one in a, an old um, train station. And then I'll definitely hang out and have a brunch, which is probably one of my favorite things to do. Then I'll go to Centennial Park, um, a great park where the, the trees are probably two or three hundred years old. Um, and then I'll take the ferry to Manly and I'll do snorkeling. And then I'll probably do a barbecue on the beach at, in Manly. Shelley Beach is definitely a place to go. And then heads back to Sydney with a skyline uh, by night, just the best, and go to Coogee Pavilion to party um, the rest of the night. I don't know how you say that in, in English, my kudush. Um, so just the fact that we had a great um, just a floor with all our friends and we just spent we pre-game before the poll, we had, I don't know, like morning coffees and late afternoon teas and whatever and, and drinks and uh, we just, yeah, it was the best place. I think, so I, yeah, I tried to think about that one last night and I think it was my graduation. You're going to see it's just really, really uh, very intense moments where you, all your friends are gathered, your parents are here. And, um, and it's just a, you feel the page is, uh, has been t is turning, it's really something new starting. 
and there's a lot of excitement. I was completely, over, <laughs> completely excited the day before and the day after. It was completely insane. And uh, I don't know, just the last party and you just enjoy everything knowing it's just the, the end of your studies and something else is starting. Yeah, I just loved it. I have a lot. Uh, I think the one I thought would be good for now is happiness is only real when shared. Uh, it's from the Into the Wild movie.